Early Life and Background Socrates was born in Athens, Greece, during a period of great cultural and intellectual flourishing known as the Golden Age. While there are limited historical records about his early life, it is believed that he received a basic education in subjects such as literature, music, and gymnastics. Socrates' exposure to the works of the pre-Socratic philosophers, as well as his experience as a stonemason, likely influenced his later philosophical pursuits. The Socratic Method The Socratic Method was Socrates' primary mode of philosophical inquiry. It involved engaging in a dialectical process of questioning and dialogue to stimulate critical thinking and uncover deeper truths. Socrates would engage individuals in conversation, challenging their beliefs, assumptions, and moral values. Through a series of probing questions, he aimed to expose contradictions, encourage self-examination, and arrive at a clearer understanding of complex concepts. The Quest for Wisdom Socrates' philosophy was centered around the pursuit of wisdom, which he believed was the key to leading a virtuous life. He famously claimed that he was wiser than others because he recognized his own ignorance. This acknowledgement of his limitations motivated him to engage in ongoing intellectual inquiry and self-reflection. Socrates believed that true wisdom came from recognizing the gaps in one's knowledge and constantly seeking to expand one's understanding. The Oracle at Delphi Socrates' encounter with the Oracle at Delphi had a significant impact on his life. Seeking guidance, he asked the Oracle who the wisest person in Athens was. To his surprise, the Oracle responded that no one was wiser than he. This puzzling response led Socrates on a lifelong quest to understand the meaning of this paradox and investigate the nature of wisdom. Socrates in Youth Socrates had a particular affinity for engaging with the youth of Athens. He believed that by engaging in philosophical discussions with young individuals, he could help shape their moral character and encourage critical thinking. Socrates saw himself as a gadfly, stinging the city of Athens to awaken and challenge its citizens to think deeply about their beliefs and values. The Trial of Socrates Socrates' unyielding commitment to intellectual inquiry and his criticism of Athenian society eventually led to his trial. Accused of impiety and corrupting the youth, Socrates was brought before the Athenian court. During his defense, he showcased his unwavering commitment to truth and moral integrity, asserting that his philosophical mission was driven by a genuine desire to improve the city. However, his arguments failed to sway the jury, and he was found guilty. In accepting his fate, Socrates willingly drank the cup of poison hemlock, remaining true to his principles. Socratic Irony and Wisdom Socratic irony was a technique employed by Socrates to challenge the assumptions and beliefs of others. By pretending ignorance and adopting a humble demeanor, he would encourage his interlocutors to critically examine their own positions. Through a process of questioning, Socrates aimed to reveal contradictions and inconsistencies in their arguments, ultimately guiding them towards a deeper understanding of truth. Socratic irony demonstrated Socrates' commitment to fostering intellectual humility and the pursuit of genuine wisdom. Socrates' philosophy Socrates' philosophy covered a wide range of topics, including ethics, metaphysics, epistemology, and political philosophy. His primary concern was the examination of human virtue, ethics, and the nature of the good life. Socrates believed that all wrongdoing stemmed from ignorance and that the key to moral improvement lay in the cultivation of self-awareness and the pursuit of knowledge. He emphasized the importance of living an examined life and constantly questioning one's beliefs and actions. Influence on Plato and Aristotle Socrates' teachings had a profound impact on his most famous student, Plato. Plato's philosophical dialogues often feature Socrates as the central character, presenting his ideas and engaging in intellectual debates. Plato's works serve as valuable sources for understanding Socrates' philosophy. Furthermore, Socrates' influence extended to Aristotle, who studied under Plato and later developed his own philosophical system. The Socratic method and Socratic questioning played a pivotal role in shaping the philosophical traditions that followed. Legacy and Significance Socrates' legacy is immeasurable in the history of Western philosophy. His unwavering commitment to truth-seeking, intellectual humility, and moral integrity laid the foundation for subsequent philosophical inquiry. Socrates' teachings and methods continue to be studied and applied in contemporary philosophy and education. His emphasis on critical thinking, self-examination, and the pursuit of wisdom remain as enduring pillars of intellectual and moral growth. Socrates' philosophical legacy serves as a reminder of the transformative power of thoughtful inquiry and the value of questioning our assumptions and beliefs.